isa sa mga napili kong philosopher, si Thomas Penn. Bowl House, within which he established a tobacco shop. During this time, Thomas started to take an interest in politics, and he became a member of the court club, which covered town and also meet his second wife. During this time, Elizabeth and they were married on 26 March 1771. Common Sense, he was famous pieces of work entitled Common Sense which popularized ideas for an independent America, republic that were previously only discussed in a privileged circles during the course of the American Revolutionary War, which was already underway overhaul a million copies of Common Sense. Thomas Penn follow up common sense with a series 
military, he resigned from the post due to certain indecorations, but he did stop him from receiving an estate in Russia, New York as thanks for service. He also received money from the state of Pennsylvania and from Congress. copies when immediately followed this up with rights of men. Mark the second combining principles and practice in February 1792. The French love it up pain along with Alexander Hamilton, George Washington and Thomas Jefferson were made honorary French
Thomas Paine was a renowned philosopher who once said, the mind once enlightened cannot again become dark. What did he mean by this? Let's explore this quote further. Have you ever learned something that completely changed your perspective? Perhaps you read a book or had a conversation that challenged your beliefs and made you see things in a new way. Once you gain this knowledge, it's impossible to unlearn it. Your mind has been enlightened and you can never go back to the way you thought before. This is what Payne is getting at with his quote. Once your mind has been illuminated with new knowledge, you cannot simply ignore it and go back to your previous state of mind. You may try to resist the change, but deep down, you know that you cannot unsee what you have seen or unlearn what you have learned. This idea of enlightenment is central to many philosophical and spiritual traditions. It's the idea that by gaining new insights and understanding, we can become better versions of ourselves. It's not always easy to face the uncomfortable truths that come with enlightenment, but it's necessary for personal growth and evolution. Payne's quote also speaks to the power of knowledge. Once you have it, it's yours forever. No one can take it away from you, and it can never be lost. It's a reminder that the pursuit of knowledge and understanding is a lifelong journey that can never be taken away from you. In conclusion, Payne's quote, the mind once enlightened cannot again become dark, reminds us that once we gain new knowledge and understanding, we can never go back to our previous state of mind. This idea of enlightenment is crucial for personal growth and development, and it emphasizes the power of knowledge in shaping our lives. I prefer peace, but if trouble must come, let it come in my time, so that my children can live in peace. The harder the conflict, the more glorious the triumph. I love the man that can smile in trouble, that can gather strength from distress and grow brave by reflection. Tis the business of little minds to shrink, but he whose heart is firm and whose conscience approves his conduct will pursue his principles unto death.